John T. Bearhugger lived in the south of Tamarin, and he hung around the Triple Six community, studying the beasts of the old prophet. The beast was to arise and take on the Grand Avatar, the Grand Guardian. The beast was building its community. And John T. Bearhugger, who got his fame when he was younger from hugging a bear to escape its clutches, he gave it a hug and went, wandered off, seemingly satisfied. Young John T., who was a young 20-year-old, he'd study the 666 stuff to work it out. 666 in its heart had a sense of humour. The 666 program. It was linked to something called Babel, which was apparently some sort of network of telephony devices, which were down south in Argon somewhere, supposedly. But the 666 network was starting to emerge in southern Tamaran and around the Sunlight Sea. And John T. Bayhagger was going to work this stuff out because it was filtered in here and there by mad prophets who ran all around in black suits claiming they were the darker versions of the doomsayers, mimicking them, them John T. Bayhagger seemed to think. These black suited ones seemed to be mimicking them. They were dressed in black and they had pendants around their necks with Five pointed stars, pentacles, pentagrams, pentagons, that sort of stuff. They were the triple sixes, and you saw a little triple six symbol inside the pentacle from time to time. They studied the power of triple six to bring the power to all over land. It was all about power and authority and working the dark magic. Dark magic. A freaky concept, but Ola Milan was bereft of wizards and warriors, weren't they? Wizards who knew the charms and the will and the word. And the triple six power, which was, by the looks of it, set up when, when studied in depth, set up by cronies a long time ago when the Grand Guardian was in town, just as an adversarial sort of fake thing. To, uh, I can start your dinner now if you like. Okay. I'll put the bacon on and then I'll do the. Uh... All right, no worries, mum. Well, we got. All right. Mum making my bacon and egg dinner. That's Jonty Bear Hugger. He liked bacon and eggs as well. But mostly he liked studying out the triple six stuff, which was set up by cronies. It was a pretend thing to play one against the other. It was totally fake, a sham. And once you dug deep into the books, into the ancient prophecy books, you knew it for what it was. A pretend adversary to popularise your shit.